beast does not exist in this dojo, does it? Yes, sir. Number one in the city. Let's get it. You turn my headphones up. Trippy. I don't give a shit about number money. Cash. Yes, sir. Live and you learn. Grind and you earn. Bitch, I'm on fire. I sit and I burn. Good morning. We are back at it. Hold on, I got an order on Uber Eats that we're gonna decline. And it's Friday, man. We off to a slow start, right? We was in the parking lot for about 30 minutes before we got this one. Um, it is day going on right now. We're in the Bedford Garfield zone, and it is a 10 o'clock hour, so it's kind of expected for it to be slow. But this one's $16 for two pickups here at No Fork, going eight miles. This restaurant's kind of slow, but um, hopefully they got it ready. I got uh, two door dashes, one for Shauna and one for Mara. not going to be joining the banger factory but we got one cilantro six dollars two miles it's going to head us back up in the beachwood and we got doordash on too so maybe we'll snag something up i feel my pocket vibrating oh the that's going to be a no yep <laughs> let's pick this up uh, take it up for tyler how you doing i got an order for tyler uh, tyler tyler Have a good one. <laughs> it's been a lot of orders coming to my phone, but there's a lot of bad orders right now. But we did get this one on Uber Eats, which is good. $10 for like four miles. It's going to drop us off up in the Pinecrest. Um, so this one is definitely a go. And we just, we haven't been able to catch anything on DoorDash that's going along with our plan so far. But let's go ahead and snag this up. Oh, there we go. The one is mine. It's Tori Z. Alright, thank you much. No problem. You too have a good one. Piata! 13.75, 6 miles. Uh, drop off's not that great, but it's not the worst either. So, let's get it. Um, ooh, damn it. Picking up for Carmel. Dash, I'm pulled up Uber Eats. Sneaking in that add on for $2 that I accidentally accepted. That, uh, no, we not about to do. <laughs> we found a way to drop off Carmel's food. Are we on our way to the next one? We go to Popeyes for $16 and four miles or something like that. Now these Popeyes on Uber Eats, they got the high pay. They don't ever work out. This one got wings and a shrimp tackle box. And this Popeyes, they be looking closed half the times I drive by. So, not too positive about this, but at the worst, I'll get a $3 cancel pay. But let's see, hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's a real one. I did see another DoorDash for the same Popeyes come. So they, they they're still open or, or, or something. Hello? Are y'all open? Y'all look open, bro. Hell no. Nah. Oh my goodness, this shit nasty in there, bro. Is it even open? I don't think so. All right, rare stop over at the wing stop uh, for 25.07, going seven miles. We gonna do it. Drop offs over like in Garfield, which isn't necessarily ideal. But one, I gotta get back to the house because I forgot my wrap in the fridge. And two, I can just slide back up at Independence where we normally are during lunch anyway. So the thing here is if it's ready, which it probably is not. Yeah, I got two. Um, I got Katera P and Octasia J. Uh, about a 
15 minute wait at the Wang stop, man. It's, it is what it is, man. The, <laughs> some some restaurants, you just gotta, you can't take the order unless it's gonna pay for a wait. I'm like, man, where the hell the house at? <laughs> it's all good. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a good one. NAF or oh, Aladdin's and NAF NAF 1075 two miles gonna keep us over here we in the um, regular lunch zone now so let's see we looking for something that's going to take us back to the east side though all right while we was dropping off that first drop off we got this for bonefish um, which is right next to the hotel we just dropped off ten dollars or eleven dollars for eight miles going downtown so it's gonna be good for going to the east side. So we're gonna pick this up, then we're gonna go pick up the DoorDash, and then we're gonna drop this off. If that thing was ready, let's go. Bryce? More successful. I'm good. There you go, bud. Have a good one, man. We got our next one and eh, I don't know if I would have took this order if it wasn't for it being at Wahlburgers and I just wanted to go. I've never been to Wahlburgers before, 1725 for 12 miles. It's gonna take us back to Garfield, but 1725 is still good. And we get to see what this, what this Wahlburgers is and what the pickup process is like here. So let's get it. I'm just picking up a DoorDash. Uh, picking up a uh, Yavon. Yep. All right. Thank That's you. One, you too. All right. Figure out. Might as well kick you this update a little bit on the early side, man. Uh, we are just about about to hit that four-hour mark, and we're sitting about one thirteen and some change tentatively. That bonefish, that bonefish grill does have hidden tip potential. So we will see. Let me make sure I didn't get tip baited on any of these orders today. No, I did not. Okay, so yeah, about 113 tentatively right now, four hours in, which is pretty decent. <laughs> but I don't know. Today, today just feels it feels annoying today, just because I've kind of just been getting dragged all over the dang old map by DoorDash and Uber Eats. And which isn't what I planned for today. So yeah, y'all ever have that where you might, you're doing good financially, but because things isn't going kind of like according to your plan, it still feels like a little annoying. That, that, that's what's going on with me right now. But um, we about to head back up to the Parmesan and post up over there to see if we can find an order that's gonna take us to the east side once again. <laughs> Um, I was fully expecting to hit, hit something that was going to take us to the Cleveland Heights zone when we when we got dropped downtown, but we got $17 to go to Garfield and got to see what this Wahlburgers was like, which um, wasn't very busy and seemed like a pretty easy pickup. But that's the deal, man. That is the deal. This week, this week's been pretty smooth. Um, what we've been doing now is I've been working just lunch on Monday and Tuesdays. And then um, on Wednesday, I only go out for lunch and then I and then I don't come back and I come back inside and then I only come out for the dinner rush. So to um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm only working like during busy times. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're working like throughout the entire day. So um, which are probably more than likely those are gonna be the days that I do a full ride along, maybe do two full ride alongs a week and then, may, and then shoot a short video. I just, I don't be feeling like shooting a video on the days that I'm doing just lunch because I'm on those days, I'm in the middle of like video editing and all that stuff. I don't wanna make no video those days, but maybe I will, maybe I won't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what I end up doing with that. But how has you guys this week been going? Mine has been going okay, even though I feel that the apps are relatively slow. Deliver that is still on the horizon. 
Um, so, you know, be be prepared, man. Be prepared to see some delivered that delivered content soon and very soon. That way I could maximize my hours. And I, I'm, I'm just kind of interested on how I, how I want to attack it once I get delivered that under the belt. Um, how do I want to go about it? Because I don't feel like I'll necessarily be making more, at least when I first start with Deliver That. Just because, you know, it seems like from what I see from the other content creators, that these orders, they're paying like, you know, 20, 21 to $35. And to be quite frank, I, I can make that in an hour pretty easily during the busy times, um, lunch and dinner. But um, what I'm looking to see is, I want to see if they got some early morning stuff that I can knock out. Um, and do during during the early early morning times. I would like to do that. And these apps is going off. But yeah, that, that's what's on the mind. But I don't, know, I don't have much to talk about right now, man. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been trying to edit these videos. Sunday, Sunday, my whole day Sunday got thrown off. Um, just running around and doing everything except for what I was planning to do on Sunday. So that really just kind of threw off my whole week. Uh, I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm behind. But I'm here a day above there. But I'm going to see you guys in the next moment whenever we get our next order. Whenever that's going to be. See you guys at some restaurant in the Parmesan. <laughs>188 right now exactly at the eight hour mark so you know despite the fact and y'all about to watch me break the law here because i don't know why this is a right turn early but um despite the fact that this day the last these last few hours have been pretty freaking brutal <laughs> very slow lots of sitting um lots of time between orders and i guess um there's a new thing going on new new update on the app that it, it's giving us an ETA on how long on how long we should expect to be waiting in between orders. I ain't never seen that before. Is that in your market? Is it only showing up because it's slow right now? But actually, no, because I just saw one that had like an ETA of like one to two minutes too. So and right now it's one to five minutes. So it must be just a new thing on there. They haven't been accurate. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been accurate at all. They've been all over the place. Um, most of the time sooner than whatever they're saying. But yeah, we are, we are in position to turn this thing around. It, there's no reason that we won't be able to hit 300 today. I imagine as soon as the sun starts going down, that's when the orders are going to really start flying through. But we're about to drive up, uh, drive up to Legacy Village, see if we can smack something, see if we can smack something good up there. We'll probably... We'll probably be able to drive through University Heights and see 
if I get a good order over at the University Heights hot spot as I'm driving through. If not, then we'll go post up at Legacy Village and we gonna we gonna see what's up. But uh, man, a Cavs playoffs start tomorrow, bruh. And I don't know, I haven't been able to get too excited about the Cavs, especially lately. They've been terrible lately. But all of the local media I'm watching, so I watch like uh, UC, UCSS, they c cover the Cavs. And it's just been so negative. And it's like, bruh, Donovan's been hurt. Like he hasn't been playing. This is a completely different team when Donovan Mitchell's on the floor. So why why do we just think that we're gonna get whooped on by Orlando? Um, why is it doom and gloom for Cleveland? So I'm excited to see what's gonna happen this series. Orlando's a physical team. I don't really watch the NBA like that, so I really couldn't tell you much about Orlando, but from what I hear is they're a physical team and all this, and I think this is gonna be a good opportunity for the Cavs to get their damn balls back. Uh, this is 1850, I put it on the screen. 1850 Warehouse Fish and Chicken. I never heard of that. And Giant Eagle 4 items. Where this dropping off? I don't really care for this route. We're going to pass that one up. I, I, I just don't like it. <laughs> I feel like that's going to take me a whole hour to complete. Um, But yeah, the Cavs, that's what I was at. Whew. Yeah, I think I think the Cavs are going to come out strong. I think Jared Allen and Evan Mobley is going to have a good series along with Donovan Mitchell. Darius Garland, I'm, low, I'm not too high on Darius Garland. Um, I don't, I think he's going to end up getting traded or something in the next year or two or whatever, whatever the contract situation is. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on DG. Um, but I think Mobley and Allen and Donovan Mitchell are going to show up, but they, they tip off at one o'clock. So hopefully it's busy. I'm not, I'm going to be working, but I'll be definitely be listening on the radio tomorrow. And that's a decline of pet smart. But yeah, yeah. What's y'all team? Who y'all playing in the playoffs? Do you like your matchup? Where you think you're going? Where you think your team's going? Ah, uh, I'll be happy if the Cavs get to round two and they give whoever they play around two uh, a good series. I, I will consider that progress. If they beat Orlando and then they give probably Boston in the second round, if, if they take Boston to six, I'll be happy. If it's a hard fought six, I'll be extremely pleased with that result for the Cavs. But yeah, let me know what your team, who who they playing, if they playing, and um, how far you think they gonna go. Hey, I'm gonna see you guys whenever we get our next one, man. All right, y'all, things might be heating up. We got a little double action, two orders at the Pizzazz. We got a DoorDash that is $11, I think, for three miles. Has five items, hits all the criteria for that hidden tip. And then we got this Uber Eats, $11, three miles, drop off in the same area. Another potential hidden tip. And I didn't even look at the item count. It is four items on this. Oops, sorry. So it has potential as well. Got wings on it though, Jesus. We'll go ahead and wait them out. And hopefully uh, this is the beginning of our momentum shift. I, I got two. I got an Uber for Chris F. And then I got... A DoorDash for Tyler F. Uh, so they just told me that it's gonna be a 25 minute wait on both of the orders. Neither one, the pizzas aren't even in the oven. Um, it's like what, $23, I think guaranteed between the two. Never mind the fact that they, I think they're both gonna go up. So we gonna wait it out. If it takes 30 minutes, it'll take another 15 minutes to deliver both of these probably. So 45 minutes to make 23 at the very least. We're just gonna go ahead and take it, man. We're gonna enjoy this view out here and wait on these orders. Good thing about this way is we could plan out the route. So we're gonna hit this one first because it's just going right there to North Park. And then we're gonna take this one because that's gonna be right there on this side of Lee. And then we'll drop off this one because that's on the other side of Lee. So we got our route and down path. I 
couldn't record and carry all three at the same time. Uh, we are on the way. It's like 7.15, so it was exactly what they said the wait was going to be. All right. Thank you for waiting. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Hello. I just need the four to the pen. Here you go. Have a good one. All right, guys. So that ended up being totally worth it. And DoorDash is talking to me nicely, man. We going to Zanzibar for thirteen seventy five for the five. And that thing gonna drop us off in Beachwood? Why they being so nice? It must be time for them floodgates to open on up. We got a shopping pay popping up too. Ooh, $18? Uh, 35 items? No, thank you. All right, man, we on the way to Zanzibar. All right, uh, picking up for Brian. Y'all, next thing we got here is Texas Day Brazil. It's uh, almost 12 or $13 for six miles. The drop off though, five items. But the drop off, <laughs> I think it's Shaker, but it's in that borderline area where it could be the hood, it could be Shaker. I'm not sure. And I don't think it's ready. Nope. Yeah. Oop. Okay. And I gotta get my contacts changed out because my vision is blurred right now. Guys, it's $133 worth of food here. Hmm. And then, hold on, we, we got another one that was good. That was kinda along the way. Should I swing both of these? <laughs> we gonna stop by, we gonna stop by and see if they got that one ready over at the Tres Portillas. Hi. Got a DoorDash order for Rick. Uh, two more minutes. Two more minutes? Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and drop this. And we're just going to take this Texas Day Brazil. I did look at the drop off closely, and it's on the right part of uh, Shaker Heights. So let's go. Hopefully, that was a nice tip on that one. I'm going to say, you know, I'm guessing it's very, it, it feels very medium, very medium. Like, 10 to 12 dollars is what I think is going to be on that thing. But we got our next one, Chipotle, a double 14 dollars, going 2.8 miles. We are on the way to Chipotle. We accepted this probably about five minutes ago, so we got to jet it and get to the Chipotle. Uh, I got a Claire and Abba. Guys, I gotta run in this Rite Aid real quick and see if I can get some contact lens solution because my eyes is blurred and my depth perception is just all jacked up right now. So hopefully I can hydrate my eyes or something. Hi, where's the contact lens solution? Al five. Okay, I see. Thank you. But yeah, hopefully I can hydrate these things and be able to see because right now it's all bad oh god way better way better let's go get this lady her burrito man <laughs> hey guys next thing we got here we got two cash on deliveries from pizza hut one's paying 12 dollars for two miles then i got an add-on for 950 for like an additional mile <laughs> so we gonna do it all i got on me is this five dollars cash they ain't even showing me the address, bro. Oh, one of the, okay, I know, man, they, 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 in the, they in the hood, but fortunately, I used to run this Pizza Hut. I've delivered all up and down this delivery area. So, let's get it. Uh, two door dashes, Natalie and Brittany Watts. First cash on delivery. 
Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm good. 3597. Well, you got chili out here now. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. You too. Man, it just it just costs thirty five dollars for two medium pizzas. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, when I was at Pizza Hut, it was two medium pizzas, six ninety nine each, and you got like three toppings on the bags. That that'd be like fourteen. I think it was fourteen ninety eight would be the total. Back in the day when I used to manage Pizza Hut, oh my goodness. And that's for delivery. That's delivery delivery charge included. Man, the prices have went up crazy. $35 for two medium pizzas from Pizza Hut? Oh hell no. Nah. Pizza Hut or DoorDash. Bruh, I really thought I was at Pizza Hut, but <laughs> what's up? What are you doing? DoorDash, Brittany Watts. Bruh. DoorDash. Brittany Watts. Bruh. You order pizza? You said Brittany Watts. Bruh. Did you order pizza? Yeah. Brittany Watts. Yeah. There you go. Have a good one, man. All right. We got our last one for the night, and I am pretty satisfied with what we got here. Going to Donato's and Cilantro, $22.50 for 10 miles. And that last drop off is going to leave us less than 10 minutes away from the, his house. <sighs> Two merchants that I enjoy. So let's get it. What's up? I'm picking up an order for Jalen. 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 Yeah. Put this thing up. You want to know what's beautiful about this? The cilantro's right there. So, yes, sir. For Rashad. Thank you, sir. I've been showing y'all a scam this whole damn time. Priority access. I think I've been scammed, bruh. I think we have been scammed on priority access. I'm gonna touch on that a little bit later. But, um, ended up doing pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, we did not even 12 hours today. 3.37. Um, dinner time, man. Dinner time came alive. And... We did not let the slowness of the beginning of the day frustrated us. We just knew we knew our plan. We knew our zones. We knew our area. We knew our strategies. We knew what we wanted to do and how we wanted to move. And we just did it. We just did it. And we picked good orders. We picked good orders. We made good decisions. If you make, if you know your market and you make solid decisions, you're going to make solid money. And that's what happened today. But hey, bruh, this priority access, man. I bet we got scammed. We got scammed on this one. We got scammed. I don't, it makes me not even want to test out the tier system when it comes out. But I am. I'm going to do it for the content. But, um, man, I feel like when you, when you have priority access to high paying orders, I feel like they're actually kind of hiding the high paying orders from you. Because what I get prioritized is for whatever programs I'm on. So that's pizza, shop and pay, and catering bag required, which is cool before. Y'all don't see me make good money on priority access for six whole months. I'm not just any dasher, any content creator talking about priority is a scam. Y'all have seen me for months on months making very good money with a high acceptance rate. And I was a cherry picker before I did that. So I, I, I already knew what I was getting into when I decided I'm gonna have a low acceptance rate. But with priority access, you get prioritized for those programs that you are on, pizza, shop and pay, and a large order program. But now without the large order program, 
priority access is worthless because you know what else you get prioritized for when you have priority access the crappy orders that are running late they send you those i i know and tell me if you guys have ever experienced this before but you ever notice on the days that the weather is really crappy there's a lot of rain or there's a lot of snow and there's a lot of reasons for some orders to be running late there's a popo right there i don't know what they're doing but i had to turn off my light but um <laughs> but you ever notice on those type of days where there's just some real crazy inclement weather you pop on your doordash app and, and you get some like a couple two or three crappy ass orders before you get something good when you have a high acceptance rate since you're trying to maintain you're taking something subpar when there's almost always something better behind it if i am at the lowest of priorities with a low acceptance rate why am i easily able to find $15 plus real high paying orders I'm seeing more high paying orders with a low acceptance rate than I did with a high one and this is coming for someone who for at least six months was going around with a high acceptance rate making $25 an hour but guys without the large order program without the large and let me correct that without the large order program the way it was before where you would see catering bag required on orders any orders over a hundred dollars it's worthless it's worthless it just is it's because all you're going to do is get shopping orders and then you're going to get prioritized for orders that are running late and every once in a while they'll throw you a bone and give you something good but those throw you a bone give you something good i can pr pretty much get those orders all the time with a low acceptance rate and that's just those are just the facts those are just the facts ever since I started this ever since I went back to cherry picking hardcore I haven't had a day that I was out for 12 hours and I didn't make $300 I'm making $300 easily every single day that I'm out for 12 hours and even on days that I'm out for 10 most of the, there's only been one time I didn't make three hundred dollars, and I was I was only short by like fourteen bucks. I made two eighty six, and that was this Wednesday, and I worked ten hours on Wednesday. In a video game, shout out to y'all, y'all got that nugget. We made it this part of the video. I appreciate y'all. That's why I waited, man. So I'm gonna start waiting. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start giving like the real nuggets. I'm going. I'm not gonna give the real nuggets until the very end of the video, because I only want the real to receive some information. I know, it ain't for just anybody, it's only for the real. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm gonna see you on the next one. <laughs> Peace.